for the last two days, I have not been going to work. Because I got jury duty. And I was picked for a trial. First time ever. Never been to jury duty before. So now I'm on a week trial. It's actually really interesting, actually. A lot of people complain about it. I really enjoy it. Um, one of the jurors fell asleep yesterday during the case. I was like, dude, are you? That's ridiculous. If you get put on jury duty, and someone's future is it's criminal. I'm doing criminal, not civil, as well. So if someone's life's going to be changed from these decisions that you make. You should not be falling asleep. I really, they didn't catch him. Like one of the jurors, he was sitting behind me so I didn't even know until the juror next to him woke him up and I realized he was waking him up. So the judge didn't see or hear anything and no one caught it except for the juror next to him. I would have been like, if I was the judge, I'd have been like, you're, you're excused. So I don't even know how long he slept through part of that trial. But we'll see if he can keep himself awake today. Ridiculous. But yeah, it's actually really close to my house. I don't have to go in until 10.30. And I get paid for at least five days. So it's... I And they're teaching me all about... Um, all about civil stuff. Get some gas real quick. And I'm a pretty unbiased person, so I don't judge a person just because of their demeanor and what they're being charged for. You gotta hear the whole story. Whatever, man. Everyone's different. Everyone's got different hoops to jump through and life to get through. 91. Yeah, jury duty. Have you done it? What was it like for you? I'm not going to talk about the details of the case because I'm mid-trial. But they said once it's over, you can talk about it. So maybe I'll talk about it. But I'll just tell you the details of the trial, like, later on. I get to wear a little jury duty badge. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper in a plastic case. I'm definitely the youngest one though. There's another guy that's around my age, but that's worth only two. Everyone else is like, they got us by like 15 to 10 years probably. I was surprised, I, cause I'm I'm 23. So I got jury duty and I was like, okay, yeah, I could get jury, I could get called after. Cause what they do is they pick like 60 people to go in. And then out of those 60, they interview you, they ask you questions, they let tell you tell them about your life. And then from there, the two the two um, attorneys slowly pick people to take out. And um, sorry, I was watching that cop for a second, make sure he wasn't eyeballing me. And then from there, they slowly tell people that they're dismissed until they get the 12 that they want. So I was like, out of 60 people here, I probably won't get picked because I'm young. And my my thought was that they'd like people who had a little more experience in life to make decisions like that. Not to say that I don't think I have that capability. I think I have that more than most adults that I know. But uh, I just didn't think they would even consider me just because I'm so young. Um... But I also speak my mind. So when they were asking questions about stuff and they're doing their initial like thoughts and they go, anyone have an opinion on this? I, you know, I spoke my mind if I did. I didn't just sit there quiet. Cause I, I'm not trying to get out of jury duty. I'll tell you a story. There was a kid sitting next to me who got chewed out by the judge, dude, bad. So we're, we're going through each people and he's sitting there and he's, he's like my age, just a normal guy. Um, 
and he, he was asking me about my, my bike because I had my gear with me. While the judge is like talking, we're in the we're in the courtroom. We're not in the little lobby area anymore. And so I'm just kind of like, why is this dude trying to talk to me? But he asked, he's like, oh, what kind of bike you got? I'm like, oh, it's a XR 650R Honda. He's like, oh, that's nice, man. Yeah, Supermoto. So that's cool. And then I kind of just didn't say anything back. Kind of just kind of trying to say like, I'm not trying to talk right now. So he stopped talking. But you know, right then I was like, okay, this guy's a normal kid. He's got a, he likes a bike. So it gets to him finally. We're like number 24 out of the first the first one to 24. Yeah. And um, but that took like two hours to get to us. So you see him. He's starting to he's starting to like you know tap his feet and uh, move his hand around. He's getting nervous. Like you know, I was my heart rate went up a little too when I had to stand up and talk to everybody. It's like oh he's almost up. You know like oh he's a little nervous. And I wasn't that nervous, but he seemed more nervous. And I was like oh you know everyone's a little different. So he stands up and he starts to tell him about, you know, himself and what he does. And he's a motorcycle mechanic. But he looks more like an intern mechanic to me. Like, I... But that's judging. I shouldn't judge. I do all my shit myself, though, so... But I was like, oh, that's why he's asking me about his, the bike and stuff. And he's like, yeah, I have... Ask us a question if you have any friends or family in law enforcement. And he goes, yeah, I have some friends in law enforcement. Um, and, and then at the very end, asks you, do you feel like you can be unbiased and fair in the courtroom and he goes I don't think that I can be unbiased and fair to this gentleman in the courtroom because of my experience with law enforcement I feel like I would be unfair to him and the judge goes why is that he's a goal just stories I've heard and he's obviously just trying to get out of jury duty he just doesn't want to be there but he's going about it the entirely wrong way no one else says that they're gonna be unfair you know that's ridiculous and it, it, I was just like, is this guy really saying that? He said, he pretty much straight up said, yeah, I would, I would choose the cops. Whatever the cops say, I would agree with. Pretty much what he said. And he's like, why would you be like that? And the, co the judge starts asking him, but this is an entirely different situation, different cops, different people. Your friends shouldn't talk to you about their job. And he's like, well, uh, they do. And, uh, and he's like, so what kind of stories? Oh, just stories. You know, you can't tell them anything. And he, the judge gets up and walks all the way across the courtroom to where we're sitting and stands in front of him and starts t telling him, pretty much telling him how ridiculous that is that he cannot be a fair person and judge this on a case-by-case -case basis, hear out the facts, and then decide if this person's guilty or not. Because here in, in the United States, you're innocent until proven guilty. Now, that has a stigma to it because a lot of shit that happens with the officer that goes to court, even if you're proven innocent, people still judge you that the fact that you got arrested. So it's tough. But at the same time, it keeps you from going to jail, from getting a job. They can't use that against you if you're found not guilty. They can just judge you. And that's a whole different problem we have. So he's like, you know, the judge chews him out and he sticks to his guns and he can tell him he's getting mad, dude. He gets all red. And the, ju the judge pretty much looked him look like a fool in front of 55 people in a courtroom. And uh, makes him sit down. You can sit down now, you know. <laughs> and then I get up. It it's even funnier because then I get up and I go, yeah, yeah, this is what I've done. I've worked with law enforcement as an intern. My, my father's in law enforcement. My cousin's in law enforcement. My uncle's in law enforcement. I have three best friends in law enforcement. So I'm in a law enforcement family. He has some friends. My, fa I grew up law enforcement. And then the judge asks, will you be fair and unbiased? Said, Absolutely. You will not judge this. And I'm the next person right next to him. You will not, you'll judge this by a case by case basis? Of course. You know, everybody's treated differently. You know, everyone, everyone should be judged differently. You don't judge someone. I don't know what I'm saying. You don't judge someone because of experiences that you had with someone entirely different just because they had the same job. And uh, he's like, okay, thank you. And I sit down, and the guy, like, looks at me like, I mean, you fucking guy. And I look at him like, you fucking guy. <laughs> Can't be fair, you know. Freaking idiot. Uh, it's It was funny. And then they start asking questions, and I, I answer one of them, like, out of no one that would. Because I was like, I know what she's trying to say. And they ended up picking me. So I was like, wow, I was kind of surprised. So now I go to jury duty for the next couple days. But yeah, that's that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, and your opinions on jury duty, if you've done it before. 
Um, how crazy of a case was it? You know, that'd be interesting. Ooh, my clutch is not uh, not agreeing with me right now. I just put in the new lever. It was working fine a second ago. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm almost at the courthouse. Um, we'll talk again later, and I'll show you guys the uh, complete setup for the supermoto. All right, guys, I'm out. Have a good one.